so it is the end of the month and that means I get to share my June favorites with you guys and the first couple of things I'm going to show you guys are these Forever 21 headbands and I believe that they were $3.80 a piece. This one's a nice like coral and pink and fuchsia braided headband and there's like a chain going throughout the whole braid. And this one is lime green, teal, and purple. And there's also that gold chain going throughout the braid. But yeah, these are just really comfortable headbands. Really stylish and really inexpensive. And I just like to wear it as like a headband or like across my forehead. Just for that like beachy chic vibe. My next favorite is a purchase from TJ Maxx. And it is this Keep Calm and Carry On mug that I picked up super cute and I love that the inside of the rim also says keep calm and carry on and then the bottom of this also has like the crown which I thought was cute the next few things I'm gonna show you guys are from my best friend Carrie and she picked me up a few things from um, Paris and Barcelona while she was over there and the first thing she got me was this purse mirror from France and this is like a drawing of the Eiffel Tower and I really like that it's a drawing and not like a photo. This just makes it like more special. And then on the inside there are a couple mirrors. This one's just a regular mirror and then this one is like a magnified mirror. I'm not sure what the magnification is on that but really really cute and I don't have a really good purse mirror so this is a great purchase by her. The next thing she got me was this shot glass from Barcelona and it is Gaudi inspired. I guess Gaudi is like really really popular there so I just thought this was really cute and um, usually shot glasses are like tapered in like this but this just stays like cylindrical which I thought was really cool I don't have a shot glass that looks like this so just really really cute I love this my next favorite is actually a food item and Carrie actually brought over some cookies and this was like half full but we've just been like plowing through them so quickly because they're so delicious and they're called um, honey bunches. They're actually called lavender honey bunches, but um, these were made without lavender. And they're really, really good because they stay like crispy and toasty on the outside, but then the inside is super chewy, which I love. Like the texture reminds me of like the Girl Scout cookies. Um, what is it called? Samoas or Caramel Delights? I don't know. It depends on who you get them from, but I don't know. It's just, it tastes like that cookie and I'm sure if you drizzle like dark chocolate over this, it'll be like the exact same or like a healthier version of a Samoa or Caramel Delight. But anyways, really, really good. Um, it's mostly consisted of like oats and coconut and it's like, I don't know, it has like honey and butter on it and sugar. I don't know. You just can't go wrong with that, but really, really good. And if you guys want to try this recipe, I'll link it down below in the info box. It has, um, lavender listed as one of the ingredients but it's not like a necessary component in that recipe so I wouldn't worry about it if I was you. My next two favorites are a couple of games that I have been like obsessing over on my iPhone and the first one is called Temple Run. It's so much fun and the second one is called Jetpack and I will take a couple of snapshots of them and put them in my full blog post so you guys can check it out. My last non-beauty product favorite is my new MacBook Pro and this is 13 inch and I have just been loving it. It's super small and like portable. I checked out the 15 inch and 17 inch but those just seem like too big and bulky for me so this is like the perfect size for me and I know that they have like a MacBook Air but that just seemed like too thin and fragile and I'm a little rough with my laptops so I just thought this was the best purchase and oh, I'm so excited to use like all the programs. I actually got um, a Mac instead of like a PC because I just think the editing programs are so much better on the Mac so I definitely got it for that reason. And this is the first video that I actually edited on my Mac. And I know it's not the best. I'm still trying to, like, figure out all the kinks and doodads and everything of iMovie. So, I don't know. Just bear with me. I promise the videos will get, like, a little better. So, yeah. Loving my new MacBook Pro. Now, on with my beauty product favorites. And the first thing I'm going to show you guys are these e.l.f. products. And they are the conditioning lip balms. This is what they look like. And I have them in three shades. This one is in Nice and Natural. This one is in Peaceful Pink. And then this last one is in Mellow Melon. 
And I love all these shades. I think all these shades complement my skin tone really well. The one that I use most is probably a combo of this. I like to mix the Nice and Natural and the Mellow Melon together. I think it just makes the prettiest shade for my skin tone. But they are all equally um, as amazing. And I just love these for the summer because my lips get really dry because of like the sun and everything. And these help keep it like conditioned and moisturized. And it also has SPF 15 in it. In it so that's great because then my lips won't burn so loving these products for the summer my next favorite is this OPI nail lacquer in kiss me on my tulips and is that what it's called yeah kiss me on my tulips it's like sounded wrong in my head but anyways it's the shade that I have on my hands right now and I Instagrammed a photo of this today too but I just think it's the prettiest, summeriest, like, shade of pink. I absolutely love it. My next favorite is this Clinique Stay Matte Oil-Free Makeup in 07 Cream Chammy. And it is, like, a perfect match for my skin. I know it looks kind of light on camera. I don't know. I put, like, bronzer and blush on and stuff, so it kind of makes my skin look a little darker. But anyways, it is, like, a really nice match with my skin tone. And I like it because it does help my face stay matte all day. Like, it lives up to its name. And it helps like absorb the oils and everything that gets produced throughout the day. So it's just really nice. Um, the one downfall about this product is that it doesn't have SPF 15 in it or SPF something in it. Um, that would just put this like product over, over the top for me and I would just love it. Um, this is like a four and a half stars. It would definitely be like a five star product if it had the SPF. But I don't know. I guess you can't, can't have it all. My next favorite is this Aruba Coconut Triple Hole Moisture Body Cream. And if you've watched my videos before, you know how much I love these body creams. They're amazing and they're so moisturizing. And this one smells so good. It's like super coconutty, but like better than coconut because it has like, what was it? The lychee and the white musk. And it just makes it like coconutty, but sweet. And it smells like suntan lotion, but I don't know, way better. It just smells like summer and it's amazing. And look at the packaging, like how cute. But I have just been loving this scent. And I have another favorite. It's the Very Sexy Now Perfume. And I got this a couple years ago. They discontinued this. So yeah, they don't really have this anymore. I'm sorry if you wanted to pick it up. But I just thought the packaging was really cute. And it smells so good. It's just like sweet and sexy and perfect for summer. Oh, it smells so good. But I love these two paired together. Like this one doesn't smell like coconut or anything. But it just smells like summer and these put together just like, oh, it's just like a summer explosion. I love it. It smells so good together. My last two favorites are by Benefit and this one is called Sunbeam. And it is a highlighter, but it's a golden highlighter. Whereas their um, High Beam by Benefit, that's like a silvery highlighter. And it's a lot more like sparkly, it seems like. This seems to like go with my skin tone a lot better. And I don't know, I just really, really like this product. And some, sometimes I'll blend it into like my foundation a little bit just to give my face like an overall glow. And it's really, really pretty. I really like this product. And I have also been loving the Cha Cha Tint by Benefit. And I know they make a lot of different other shades of stains, but this one is by far my favorite. Um, it's like a mango peachy kind of color, and it just goes with my golden skin tone really well. It kind of warms up my skin and makes it look like, not tan, but just like it kind of gives my face like a nice flushed look like I've been in the sun all day or something but I really really like this color and I don't know I just have been obsessing over this product and for those of you guys who um, haven't seen my June giveaway I'm actually giving away a sunbeam and a cha-cha tint for those of you who want to try it and I actually have it packaged in one of my old glossy boxes and yes I do receive the glossy box and I do um do like package opening videos or whatever for those of you guys who don't know but anyway so I have like an old glossy box like I was gonna throw these away but then I just felt like I could use them and I just thought this was a great way to reuse these glossy boxes so whoever um, wins this prize you'll get like a glossy box from me I guess and um, you'll get the products that I chose for you in here and this month it is as you can see, the Sunbeam is in this package right here, the Cha Cha Tint, and I also got Hula, and Hula is a Benefit bronzer, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Ah, I can't open it. 
And I actually don't use this bronzer. I use a different bronzer. But I really like this one. I tested it out in the store and this will be my next purchase after I finish my bronzer. But um, I just thought you guys would probably like to try it because I thought it was really nice. And it's a matte bronzer. It doesn't have shimmer in it or anything, which is like the best kind of bronzer. Because then you can use it for like contouring and then you can always add shimmer um, on your face later. Especially like with this sunbeam or something. But anyway, so that is the prize that I'm um, giving away this month. And that giveaway actually ends tomorrow night at midnight, I believe. It ends June 30th at midnight. So, I don't know. If you haven't entered yet, please enter. Um, you have like a few more hours left. So... Yeah, those are all my favorites for this month, and if you guys have favorites to share with me, or if you have a product that you really want me to try, please leave those down below in the comments below, and yeah, I would just love to read them, and maybe they'll end up in my July favorites next month, and yeah, just stay tuned for my other videos. I'm sure I'll be getting my glossy box and julep and everything um, soon, and I will be reviewing some e.l.f. products that I have been using a lot, so... I don't know, just stay tuned for the videos, and thank you so much for watching. I will catch you guys next time. Bye!